Hello everyone, FudgeNX here. Welcome back to episode 10 of Feed the Feast Infinity Vell Skyblock. We are going to do a lot today. A lot of different things. Um, I've been working hard in between episodes to do some of the boring stuff like uh, agri-craft um, seed breeding and all that kind of stuff. I built everything that we need to make this metal former. Um, none of it was really difficult. Uh, it it's expensive, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, the copper cable, you've got to wire cut the copper plates, which take two copper each. So that's one copper per wire. Uh, that's going to get a lot cheaper once we have the metal former. And then these coils are really expensive, because that's uh, 24 copper bars for three of those. And then the toolbox is a ton of bronze, so that's uh, 10 bronze each. So, no, 20 bronze. It's an expensive machine, but it's well worth it. So let's get it. And I'm just going to uh, fix these real quick. And put them in here. Uh, this uh, automatic camera thing has been a great investment. Even at 20 RF a tick, it runs pretty quickly. And better yet, it does things while I'm not doing it. Uh, I put sand in here because I need to get one of these exotic seeds. That makes mycelium. And uh, I believe. <laughs> I hope so. Unless that's the jungle one. Ah, crap. I don't remember. I hope that's the mycelium one. Let me check. Exotic seed. Well, oh, it's an ancient spore. Dang it. Yeah, exotic seed is a jungle tree. Ancient spore is the one I need, and we don't have one of those yet. Okay, that's a bummer. We'll keep uh, seven sand, and hopefully you'll get one. Um, okay, next thing I want to build is a trash can. <laughs> Let's get the trash can built so I can uh, junk item, mainly for seeds. I get so many junk seeds that I don't really need. Uh, some stone and some cobble. And we'll have our trash can. So I'll probably put that over here for now. Uh, okay, and the next thing I wanted to get Okay, well, I was thinking about other other methods of getting power, and uh, this pack makes farming really easily, or really easy. Um, so I was thinking, why not get this culinary food generator? Because it's actually pretty cheap. It just takes tofu. Well, that's that's simple. Uh, tofu comes from silk, and tofu comes from soybeans. Come from this seeds, and then it's just a bunch of you know breeding seeds together to get the different things. So. I got a soybean seed. I figured that was okay. I'm good there. Uh, but now I need to press it um, into silk and tofu and then firm tofu. And, ooh, okay, a little bit more challenging. We need asparagus seeds, celery, cabbage, and oats. So I've got one of each of those. Um, I went through just about probably three stacks of bone meal to get there. Uh, but we're there. <laughs> you can see the remnants. Um, if you wanted to get rice, rice was a little bit challenging because the it's difficult, well... Of course it worked the first time. I was having trouble placing crop sticks on these little water things, um, but that's how you have to plant rice now, is you um, till a fa till farmland again, till it looks like that, put water in it, and then uh, you can put ri a rice seed on the, in the crops once you do that. So that's how you get the rice. Um, so that was the only really challenging was to figure out how that one worked. So for the presser, we need asparagus, which is Corn and scallion, which, you know, it's, you just, just follow the recipes. It works, you know, it's random, but eventually you'll get the right stuff. So, asparagus, celery, oats, and cabbage. None of them being that difficult uh, for this presser. And I've only got one of each of these, so I should probably breed them really quick, just to get a second. I don't have a lot of bone meal. But once I kill it I can get a second seed there so uh, let me go see if there's any skeletons over here oh I, I did get another etherman oh we've got another enderman in here yes please drop an ender pearl please drop an ender pearl no oh I did get one sweet that's oh did you drop one no that's all right we've got um two ender pearls now so that's decent I gotta figure out what's my best use of them right now since they're in such short supply 
Um, I don't know if this pack allows you to go to the end, really, so we might be struggling for enderpearls for quite a while until we get bees. Did that zombie drop a carrot? Okay. Tempted to use my enderpearl just to jump. No. <laughs> Never! Let's see how many bones we got. Okay, that's a little bit decent. And we got a common treasure. Okay, cool. What did we get out of that? Gold coins, some potions, a gold ingot. Not bad. Okay, so we've already got... Make sure I know which one we got. Asparagus. Do we have a second celery? We do. How about oats? I don't think I've got extra oats. Oh, where's the oatmeal? Okay. There's my extra oat seed. And cabbage. Don't see one. That's all right. Did I just get another ender pearl? Oh, my goodness. The luck on these <laughs> drops. That must have come out of the uh, that bag. Beautiful. Okay. And filled up the inventory, or the, the chest, but we got everything. Alright, so what was the rest of the recipe here? Iron and piston. Hopefully I have a little redstone, yep. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew it was gonna do that. Uh, do we have to have them in the specific area? Maybe it's just four of any seed. No, okay. <laughs> it's... Asparagus celery at the top. There we go. So there's the presser. The presser does not need power as far as I know. It, uh, it never has. Uh, you just put the stuff in it. So we need to get some soybeans going. Let's get both of these. Let's just go ahead and mutate it across. Okay. Now I think we need three total. Let's go ahead and stick these three in here. They'll press down into silken tofu as soon as we get all three silken tofu. Put it back in to get the hardened tofu and we'll be good to go on the culinator generator. All right, in the meantime, let's get this metal former running. So let's do a similar setup to this. Um, yeah. No, not right there. Oh, crap. Do I need a wrench now to move that? Probably. Alright, well, let's get a wrench. I'm guessing we need the IC2 wrench. The electric one. Oh, not in our, not in our powerhouse right now, so uh, six bronze to make this wrench. That was a costly misclick. I only got four. No, not a bucket. I put the gold in there. All right. Um, 18 copper would be six tin. That should give us quite a lot of bronze for a while now. Okay, so let's get everything ready for the culinary generator then. Where are you? So, two furnaces, a piston, red stone, and iron gear. Four iron. gear out. Um, do I have any cobble in here? Nope. All 
All right, so we'll compress down this cobble for our uh, furnaces. Oops, don't put that in there. Okay, there's our two furnaces. Put the extra cobble in here for now. Uh, we'll need another piston. So much to make. Uh, oh, missing a little cobble. All right, we got everything we need now. Um, piston, redstone, furnaces. We'll go get our iron gear all made. Okay. And now hopefully the tofu's ready. Sweet. All right, so the way the culinary generator works, if you never used it, is it generates more output based on the type of food you put in it. So something like a carrot generates 16 RF attack, but only for a minute. So that's, that's pretty decent RF. It's not gonna last very long, obviously, but not bad. Looks like you might be even <laughs> cook uh, 16 RF attack for rotten flesh. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Good enough mob farm, you can run it off rotten flesh. Uh, but we obviously want to put really decent food in there. Um, so there's a few foods that are the like the best. Um, what would they be called? So they're on, they're all under Pam's. Uh, which was <laughs> I wish there was a way to sort by food value. Um, you've got like delightful meals think are pretty high but they take a lot to make um, I'll tell you what in between episodes I or if you know a really great food that's not that difficult to make put it in the comments below I'll also take a look through the foods try and find one that's a combination of both a high food value but not very difficult to craft you know maybe like two or three ingredients that don't take any cooking or processing you just take all the raw ingredients basically um, and we'll hopefully have a whole field of them somewhere out here and uh, put them in the, the, the culinary generator. So sweet. It gen didn't last very long, but it generated a ton of RF pretty quick. So we could probably hook up one of those. Treated stick and some copper. And anyone knows how much the LV wire can transport? Let me know. I haven't taken the time to uh, look it up. We can probably connect those two now. And now this should be being used, yep. Nice. Hey, we got our ancient spores. Hooray, I just need enough time. All right, and we're out of sand over here, so we better put some more in there. All right, we got our bronze now, so let's make our wrench. Okay, and I'm actually gonna move this right out here. And we will stick one of those little thingies on top. Do we have any more? Yeah, we do. And run in one of those. You right to there. Okay, so she should be getting power now. Um, we've got different recipes. Extruding, which is like for making wires. Rolling, which is for making like the plates now. Cutting, well I guess maybe that's for making wires. <laughs> but we got different methods so we can see them. There we go. Cool. So let's start by putting some um, iron in here to get an iron shaft. I think that was the main thing we needed for more power. Uh, was the iron shaft. It takes a block of iron in extruding format to get the shaft. Okay. 
Let's get one of those. I just want to see how long it's going to take. So extruding, block of iron. Not getting any power? I was told that these things convert RF to IC2. So... What's happening? Oh, we are, uh, we have run out of power. <laughs> okay, that, that could be the problem. Definitely could be the problem. So, coal coke there. Coal coke there. There we go. Okay, and you've already been used up. Now are you processing? It is. Okay. And I think IC2, I'm not sure if they have the, the the Greg Tech format where if they lose power in the middle, it just, like, you lose everything. I think that's the case. I'm not sure. But we should be all right. There's no, like... Yeah. All right. So that'll make us our iron shaft, which we can then make the water wheel or a windmill with. And I think we'll do that next episode because there's... A lot that goes into making that. We need a lot of uh, treated sticks, so we'll need to go get all of our yellow liquid over there. Go harvest these while they're they're full. Oops, probably have to take out that. Sure. Ah, um, inventory's being overrun by junk. All right. Was there anything else I really wanted to do this episode? We got the. Uh, our first real big piece of tech. I mean, I guess the assembly table was kind of, but this is our first main IC2 machine. We got our presser, so we got the new f power. Um, I, th I think that's it, guys. That was a quick episode. Time just flew by, but <laughs> I, I we, we made a lot of progress, so I'm happy. If you guys liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more. Uh, make sure you're putting comments down below to give me tips or, or the way you did certain stuff so we can uh, work together and, and figure out all the stuff we need to do. If you have any challenges, like um, there's really no quest book here, so whatever the end goal um, is whatever we set, right? So if you have a, a, a challenge for me of collect this or automate this, something like that, uh, put it in the comments below. We'll definitely check it out. Until then, uh, guys, it's been Fudge X for Feed the Beast. Infinity Evolve Skyblock. I'll see you in the next episode. Catch you later. Bye.